What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode 1 of my FIFA Mobile Road to Glory. That is right, I have started my free to play account. Uh, before we get into today's video, first of all, if you could drop a thumbs up, that would be much appreciated. Second of all, this will not interfere with the Road to Glory on FIFA 18. So if you don't enjoy FIFA Mobile, the videos will be very clearly labelled and thumbnail. Uh, very clear that it's FIFA Mobile as well. The Road to Glory will still be uploaded 10 p.m. UK time every single night. So this won't interfere with that at all. This series will probably come out anywhere between two and five times a week, maybe every day uh, if I get into a good rhythm. Um, as a free-to-play account, I won't be spending any money on the game at all. I know that's going to hinder me a lot, especially because I missed a few big promos. But I still want to just enjoy the game and see where I can get to with a free-to-play account. So if you guys have never played FIFA Mobile before, I've only been playing on this account now for three days. And I already have a 79 rated squad with five elites. Uh, three team of the weeks in there. Uh, you get certain players for just playing the game. So you get the 87 Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, you, he'll start off as an 80 rated Cristiano Ronaldo. You get him for just completing the training exercises. You will get a player from the, the, your club of choice uh, at the start as well. Obviously, as an Arsenal fan, I pick Arsenal as my favourite club, which is why I've got Akpom. Um, I've packed or generated or crafted uh, the team of the week players. Uh, Thomas, Kessie and Giannini there. Um, I, I bought them all and then I Lori you can see because he's got that funky red background let's see if it actually sh t tells you where we got him from um, it doesn't so I actually got him from the England campaign and uh, he's into my main team now but generally speaking my team's not great I want to show you guys what I've done in the three days I haven't really grinded this account super hard either uh, I've only been putting a little bit of time per day into it um, my main thing that I've been doing is just banging out the team of the year event where possible. Every four hours this refreshes. I've already done the token for the last four hours. So every four hours you get the warm up, which gives you a skill boost and training items and some coins. Then you get the second part, which gives you skill, more skill boost, training items and more coins. And then you get to choose between defender, uh, midfielder or attack. Now in terms of defense, I did five at five defender, uh, team of the year things one two three four five I actually did six there on uh, the defense um, I think I've done five midfielder attempts now as well so one two three four so we've done five in midfield and I'm also going towards doing five in attack so we're working on attack now obviously need more attack points this this um, this promo runs out in like five days so I'll be able to get through five more of these as well I'll probably able to complete the next reward because for the rewards uh, my next reward is completing five out of five attacker events, which will give me one more team of the year attacker point. Um, and then I don't, I'm probably not going to be able to get a team of the year defender, midfielder, or attacker on my team to complete these. They're just mad expensive, and I don't have many coins. You can see there, I only have 170,000 coins. Now, in regular FIFA, you probably be like, that's a crazy amount of coins. But in FIFA Mobile, they go super quick. So um, I've done 12 out of the 25 events. Of course, I can't claim this 2.5 million coins, which would be super nice unless I can get the attack, midfield, and defense. So for you guys watching, if there is an easy way to get the three players that I need and then sell them on, please let me know. So that's what I've been doing there. I've also been doing a lot of the scouting, uh, a lot of the warm-ups and a lot of scouting events um, just where possible, you know, the scouting refreshes every four hours. I'm going to assume you guys know the basics of FIFA Mobile and just want to see a um, want to see a uh, <clears throat> a road to glory, free to play account, and how far someone can get. But uh, we're going to do the scouting event now as well. So this is a uh, two on one. Should be quite easy to score here. Um, I am playing on an iPad as well, not an iPhone, which is why it's more of a square um, rather than the rectangle you're used to seeing with the iPhone, and also. Uh, I'm going to have to look down quite a lot because when you play FIFA Mobile, obviously looking down is um, is where it, I'm not looking into a monitor anymore where the camera is. I'm looking down onto my um, my iPad. So uh, my eyes are not always on the camera. But the scout scouting event there is super easy. I'm saving up currently my points for the scouting event to go to five points. We've got two out of five so far. So over the next uh, day or so, because I, I don't catch scouting all the time. Like It refreshes every four hours. I probably do two a day maximum. Um, just when I remember so I'm pretty lack with that the way I got those 636 FIFA points by the way is actually just through the Objectives you get given FIFA points in FIFA mobile for just doing things so the daily activities for example Complete one versus attack score five goals open a pack in the store and there is also a free pack every four hours now I believe I believe the free pack comes 
the four hour cooldown starts when you open it, so it's not every four hours. So you have to actually remember to come on every four hours to get this. Otherwise, you just you know if you wait eight hours, it's just you're just going to miss it. So we get some trashy little bronze player that doesn't mean anything to us, and then yeah, the cooldown is in four hours time. Uh, but for com opening that pack, there we've completed our first daily objective, which gives us a thousand XP. Two more FIFA points, not a huge amount. Um, 10 XP for the account and a, th a thousand coins. So pretty nice there. Uh, you can see I'm already level 16, which is quite high. Um, uh, campaigns, events. Uh, I've done some of the campaigns. I do I do a bit of campaign every day just to complete the daily objectives. You can see here uh, I've done two chapters in England. I've done two campaigns in Germany, Italy, Spain and France and nothing in Western, Eastern Europe yet, or North or South America, which we'll actually do now, or rest of world. Um, just because I just do the start of them to get the daily objectives done, because they're usually skill games, so they're a lot easier. So we're going to open that up, yeah, so it's a skill game, just penalties here, so I'll, I'll probably just have to score three penalties. Will likely be the case, yeah, so three penalties out of ten. Penalties are pretty easy in terms of scoring them. In penalty shootouts, I hate them, I find penalty shootouts to be... Uh, just frustrating, man. I feel like the AI cheats in penalty shootouts, but they are generally quite easy. Now, what I'm expecting out of this series is a slow growth, right? This this isn't going to be something that uh, I've got like a 95, 100 rated team within a week. Like the way FIFA Mobile works is it is a grinding game, and I'm going to grind it a lot, and I'm going to grind a lot of it off camera, like what I've done so far. Um, what do we get out of the rest of the world pack there? We get 20 XP. We get a bronze player that's not worth anything and a thousand coins. Is the next one a skill? No, so that's not a skill game either. So I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go to South America, and we'll do the first one in South America too, which should also be a skill game, and that will help us with the next daily objective. What I'm going to do is every week, every day, there's like a new feature that comes out in the game, and I'll show those in just a second. Again, I'm sure you guys know what they are. I'm sure you guys aren't stupid and have. Uh, played FIFA Mobile and already know what FIFA Mobile is about, but for those that don't, we'll show it anyway. And uh, yeah, you know, this is going to be a full free-to-play account. A lot of people discourage me from playing on a free-to-play account, but I like free-to-play, you know. Even on FIFA 18, I have my Road to Glory, which is free-to-play. I haven't put any money into it, just time. I want to show you guys what I could do on FIFA Mobile with just time too. However, I'm not going to show everything because you guys are not going to see, going to not, you're not going to want to see me like grind campaign and things like that. So what I'll do is I'll op I'll um, complete things to a point. But let's say we complete this level here. I won't open like the reward until I'm recording. So I'll get myself to a point where rewards are not opened and we'll open all the rewards at the same time uh, together. So we've completed another daily activity there. Uh, two. Two skill games in... Uh, oh, ho, 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 ho. we get ourselves a an Elite Brahimi. What a pull. You guys may not think that's big, but for a free-to-play account, picking up an Elite player, an 80-rated left mid, is huge. We get 3k coins, 5 fever points, 20 XP. That's from a daily activity objective. Now, I want to go and see how much Brahimi is worth. He doesn't fit into my team because I'm, I'm sticking with a 4-3-3 because I want to keep Ronaldo. Um, I want to see how much he's worth because if we can sell him and, and put that towards purchasing a... Um, purchasing a... Uh, team of the Year card, or e even if it's just a nominee card, that would be amazing. So Brahimi... Okay, let me go... Uh, the way the way the search function works is not always ideal. So he's 80 rated, left mid. Let's have a look for Brahimi here. So Brahimi is worth. Tell me that I think I remember Bateson saying that left mids are a rare position. If I've just pulled a one million coin, wow, wow. I've, I I legitimately think I've pulled like a 900k player. Where's the uh, Liga Nos? Um, where am I looking for here? I'm looking for the... That's an insane, <laughs> insane pull. It may not seem like it's crazy to you guys. It's not the Pro League, is it? Liga Nos, there we go. Um, and then Porto. So Brahimi is worth, guys. Oh, there's one there for 580,000. 720. Looks like 580 is the low bin right there. But that's still a half a million coin player. Now, that that is really going to help me. Oh no, wait, hold on. Four, still, 410 is his lowest bin, so I'm going to sell him for 390. That is that is fantastic. So 380,000 to start price and 390 
uh, to bin. Hopefully he'll sell straight away. I should be able to get now, before the team of the year event is up, I should be able to pick up um, a team of the year forwards, buy him, put him into the club, complete that section, sell him. Buy the midfielder, complete that section, sell him. Buy the defender, complete that section, sell him. Off of that Brahimi ball. So that was pretty big thing. Pretty, pretty, just a pretty big start. Um, it says that Di Gianni is... There's a better player than him. There's not. I think it was ex ex assuming that Brahimi was there. Um, but uh, I haven't upgraded my team at all either, guys. Let me finish the daily activities real quick. So we're going to play one verse attack match. I'm not super high in verse attack. I'm on pro, uh, pro am I pro? Pro 3, pro 2? I'm pro 2 already. So I've just uh, just been grinding my way up through verse attack. You get a lot of rewards through the verse attack. You get a lot of skill boosts through verse attack, which are super important. Now, I will admit openly, I am not the most knowledgeable or efficient in when to upgrade players or how to upgrade players. And we'll get to that after I finish this verse attack match. Doesn't necessarily matter if I win this verse attack match or not, but I'm going to obviously give it my best shot. I'm up against an 80 rated player. I don't have Domination Griezmann yet because I didn't have, my account wasn't in a, a, a position where I could unlock him um, when I opened the account. I have more fans than this guy, so that's positive. I've just got to make sure I take my chances um, on, this, uh, <clears throat> on this attack mode game just to make sure I get as many goals as possible. I have got a pretty good team. Go on, Akpom. Nah, I shouldn't have headed that. I should have taken the touch first. I usually score quite a lot of goals uh, through through uh, attack mode. I'm, I'd say I get like six to nine goals per game, even with this terrible team. But last, last season, during FIFA 17 FIFA Mobile, I was definitely very, very good with how to play the game mode and, and how to score. He's going to clear it up the line, isn't he? Um, this this time around, like FIFA 18, I'm kind of terrible with it. I don't really, um, I don't really know how, how the chance creation works and, and what the best is for chance creation. Like right there, that's probably a huge mistake. I don't have rainbow flick either for my players yet, so it's very difficult for me to do anything uh, in that regard because. Uh, you got to be joking me because I don't have rainbow flick. Uh, I've only scored one goal so far, which is actually really poor. Let's see if we can get a second goal here with Kessie. We can't, but corners are pretty good at this low level. As long as you've got a tall guy at that back stick and I've got one Yama, you should win the header and you should get the goal. I haven't got the goal. Is that a penalty? No, I'm just going to miss out here. So I've only scored one goal. I, I'm sure oh, I'm going to lose now. I'm 3 1 down. I'm sure there are people uh, watching this saying, like, what on earth is he doing? I aimed at a far post. I am actually going to lose this. Uh, I've had more than enough chances to win this game as well. I just really haven't taken my opportunities. We get a great chance right at the end when it absolutely doesn't matter. And I didn't even score it anyway. Um, for the sake of this video, it doesn't matter. I will grind more attack mode. And obviously the better team I get, the better chances I'll get, the more games I'll win. doesn't matter that I lost that game. doesn't matter that I lost those fans. And more importantly as well, I didn't, I didn't get the... Um, I didn't get the uh, goals that I wanted to complete the score five goals event, but we need to complete one more. Wait, what? One more skill game or match in events. I did two skill games. Oh, in a, yeah, I did two skill games in events. I thought, didn't I do? Oh, in events. So the, in the events tab, I thought it was uh, in uh, the other thing. You got tournaments, which is like foot champions. I don't think I've qualified for that. I think you need to be a minimum of world class, and I'm only in pro. Uh, you get. Team Heroes, which is exactly what it sounds like. You grind this event, you get tokens, you get like the, the hero players from the team, all 88 rated. It's a long grind. I will, might get one or two over the course of the next few months, but it will take a while. You get a domination event. So once you complete domination, um, once you complete the domination event, which I can't do, can't do because it's locked anyway. Or can I do the Griezmann now? Oh, I can actually do it now. Oh, interesting. I can actually go and get it. Um, I couldn't do it before because my account wasn't ranked high enough. Now I think it'll be a struggle to do because my team isn't that super high rated. I will be able to complete it, but I'll complete that in due course. So we'll get a Griezmann uh, over the next episode or two, and he'll become my striker then. And what happens is every week you get the ability to uh, upgrade um, the Griezmann by completing other events. And you can upgrade him and upgrade him, and it becomes a pretty good striker. And of course there are two other bonus chapters for two other players, which will also get those because they'll go into our team too. So I'll complete that on some other some other video because we're getting quite long into this video now and I don't want it to be super long. Icons are kind of out of my reach right now. You need like to complete, let's say to get this Ferdinand, you need to put together a, um, <clears throat> do I have to click on info first? Come on now. To complete Ferdinand, you need to put together a 94 rated 
overall team with five English players. Now, I only have a 79 rated team anyway, so I can't get close to getting him. So icons right now for me are just out of my uh, out of my reach. Um, Matchups, which we're going to do today. Basically, you've got to guess the match the result. Um, and then you've got to complete a skill game, I, I believe, to, to do as such. So Real Madrid against Valencia. I'm going to go for Real Madrid as the win. You complete the uh, scenario. You get a coin reward. It doesn't cost any stamina. You, you guess all four games. Uh, wow, three goals, really. So I'm not going to do all of these. Man, Aaron Gies is terrible. Uh, I need to get rid of him quite quickly. Let's get that ball in the back of the net, though. So, yeah, you complete you, you complete the uh, skill game to basically give you access to your result, your match result. So I scored three goals, which actually might be enough to complete the final um, daily objective. In fact, it will be. That will complete both the final daily objectives, which is nice. So you complete that. Uh, now I've locked in Real Madrid by doing that. You guess the result on all four of the games, whether it's a win, lose, or well, whether it's a draw for one or a win for either or the other. So I'll go through the other matchups. And then at the end of the week, when the new matchups comes out, you get given rewards. So every one you get right, you get a point. And when you get that point, you get to spend those points. Right now, you can spend uh, one point on training experience, 30,000 XP. You could spend <clears throat> four points on 175,000 XP. Or you could spend four points on the Rodrigo. So if I get all four of these right, I'll obviously personally go and pick up that Rodrigo because he'll improve my team uh, quite big. Um, team of the week is very similar as well. Team of the week, you just keep re repeating the team of the week uh, process. You can do these every... Uh, I could do this one now and it expires in four hours. You could do this one every 12 hours and you get team of the week points. And this is where I got those players from. So this time around, as you can see, I got... I bought Thomas, I bought the goalkeeper, I bought Kessie, and when, if, if I get enough points in due course, I'll try and buy as many of these as possible. These are 50 points though, because if I complete all the silver reserves, we get 50 extra points, and here we get 10,000, oh, I don't really care about that. So if I, if I can get, for example, uh, who would be helpful for me here, Ginter, if I can get 700 team of the week points, I'll get myself a 79 rated uh, informed centre back, which will be good. So I'll grind this event as much as I can through the week. And obviously you guys don't need to see that, nor do you want to see that. But I will show you the important parts of everything that I do going forward. Uh, team of the year event is the other event that we've got going on. We get to grind this every four hours as well. And hopefully, uh, if that Brahimi sells and, and if I get lucky here or there throughout the rest of the week, maybe I'll have enough points and enough coins to actually complete a lot of the team of the year event. I don't think I will be able to, but we've finished all the daily activities here, guys. So score five goals, give us two FIFA points, 2,000 coins and 20 XP. I'm very close to leveling up the account as well. Uh, the skill games is done as well. So all those FIFA points that you see on my account as we hit level 17, they're all from just completing daily objectives. And that's just in three days. So you get a decent amount and you see how many... Uh, Training XP I got there, 5,000 more XP there, and then for completing all the objectives, 4,000 coins. Oh, there you go, Brahimi just sold 30 FIFA points and some um, some more items. So uh, we collect our rewards for Brahimi. We're now up to almost 600,000 coins. I actually think I can buy a team with the year card now. I think I could buy Alonso, I believe. Uh, let me have a look. Search Alon, oops, Alonso. Uh, reset that. Right, let's reset all. Let me go for Alonso. And let me go for left wing back. And he is 82 rated, I believe. Now, Team of the Year nominees count in this section that I'm doing. It's not a star that you need. So, Alonso, there's one there for 610. So, I'm actually, I will be able to get Alonso for sure. I don't, I don't think I'll be able to buy him right now, but throughout the course of the week, is that 600,000? No. Um, throughout the course of the week, I'll be able to afford Alonso. The, yeah, 590 one went for. So I'll be able to pick one up for 600,000. So I'll be able to complete the defender side of things. And then I could just sell him afterwards. Sure, I'll lose a tax on him, but I'll be able to put those next uh, coins towards picking up a midfielder team of the year. Um, in terms of my team, I wanted the advice and opinion of you guys on what to do with this going forwards. I have a lot of XP available to me. I don't have like I have a lot of coins now to be able to upgrade. If you guys don't know, you can train your cards, so you could train the players, and they become better. As you can see, I've got four 5k XPs, five 2k XPs, 68 1k XPs, 
44,500 XPs, four 250 XPs. Uh, I've got some 100s as well. I've got some like goalkeeper XP as well. Um, what have we got here for the goalkeeper? So yeah, obviously the same ones in those, but there's specific goalkeeper ones. I've got some 100 ones here or there anyway. I've upgraded a few of the players so far just to give myself a little bit of a boost. Like I put some XP into Atpom. Um, I put some into maybe Kessie to get him up to an elite card as well. But what should I just, at this stage, and I'm asking you guys, should I not upgrade right now and just save the XP for players that they're actually useful for? Or is it worth wasting the coins? Because obviously to upgrade, the XP carries, right? So if I dump uh, 10,000 XP into this guy, I will get that XP back because I can use this guy and put him into the next card. But by dumping 10k XP, it cost me 74,000 coins. So is that worth the upgrade? I don't know how to know whether or not it's efficient or not to upgrade. So I'll take the advice of you guys as and when possible. And in terms of my reserves, I've got a fair few gold players. I could sell those if, if I needed to to get more coins. Some of them are tradable, some of them are untradable. Uh, I think uh, Hyun Su is untradable because he came from one of the campaigns. Um, a lot of the silvers are untradable from the campaigns. You can see by the background of the player whether they're a campaign player or not. Um, but yeah, I've got some bronzes that are just trash and, and some general overall players. But I think for three days' work, I'm I'm very happy. I finally joined a league. I'm about to le <coughs> excuse me leave this league though. I need to get... My first tournament wins under my belt, so I can go and get that Delhi Alley. Uh, you can get Delhi Alley here if you look at campaigns. There's a Delhi Alley that you get. Scroll all the way back to the front here uh, for league rewards. I think you need ten points for Delhi Alley. Um, yeah, so ten points. I've got one point so far. I think for completing some some task or another. Uh, so I need three league wins as soon as possible to get those nine points. And I've been in this league for two days now, and they've not started a league yet. So I need to find an active league that's okay to take in a free-to-play low-rated team. If you guys have one, feel free to invite me. I will try my best during the League v. League um, sections. But I would love this Deli Ali, obviously, in my team. He would be very nice with Griezmann and Ronaldo. It would just really start to make for a good, uh, a good foundation basis. But in terms of Ronaldo, I've actually done a fair bit already, which is why he's so high-rated already. So we've done uh, the first task, which was win one verse attack. We've... Completed chapter one. We joined or created a league uh, to earn the Mobile Master XP there. We completed chapter two here. For this one, we need to acquire Delhi Alley to get the league points. So I can't do that just yet. And that means I can't continue that trail just yet. For the middle one, we need to complete chapter three, which I'm able to do. And I might go and complete chapter three of uh, England sometime this evening. And then for this section here, reach amateur one. And here is Reach Pro 2, which means we can claim this now because we have Reach Pro 2. And that will give us one more upgrade unlock for Cristiano Ronaldo. So we'll be able to pop him up to an 88 rated card now. Um, and then part 3 is to reach World Class 3. And then complete a single tournament to earn this reward. So uh, I don't know what, I think the tournament is the weekend thing. So we're, we're about to get, you know, get close to being able to upgrade Ronaldo by a few more uh, points here. But to end off this video, guys... Uh, first of all, thank you for being here. Again, this FIFA Mobile will not interfere with my FIFA 18 upload. So if you don't enjoy FIFA Mobile, once again, j like it will be very clearly labeled and titled that it's FIFA Mobile. So if you don't enjoy it, just don't click on the video. It will be uploaded at a time that is completely different to when my uh, FIFA 18 videos are uploaded. My FIFA 18 videos are uploaded at 10 p.m. Uh, on this channel, on my main channel, they're usually up between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. So FIFA Mobile will probably go live at like midday or 2 p.m. or something, you know, just when just completely innocuous time. So if you do like the FIFA Mobile stuff, you can come and find it. And if you don't, that's absolutely fine too. So we get to train Ronaldo one more time because we did get one Mobile Master XP. It's going to cost me 25,000 coins. It's going to be worth it for Ronaldo. It pops him up to an 88 rated player. Does he have 90 dribbling yet? No, I still need three more upgrades to get his dribbling to 90 and then he'll have the uh, rainbow flick which is obviously the OP skill move but we now have an 88 Cristiano Ronaldo it didn't quite put my team rating up to an 80 yet but we are well on our way this is going to be the end of the video for today guys if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like rating comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but for now guys I'm out peace